Hi everyone. Uh, good news and bad news. The good news is the holy ones, the angels, the archangels, the people of God have a wonderful 2020 in front of them. Uh, I want to say something about drugs. I follow completely archangel Dr. Gabriel Cousins. Uh, he says that it's not good to use dope and I totally agree with him. But in order to save this city in the first place and the country, and maybe the whole world, we have to make clear that it's best to legalize marijuana now and separate the markets so that we can get the cocaine out of the people. Now uh, that's maybe a wise advice, get the cocaine out of the people. Because this country and this city Antwerp, uh, one in, through, in three uh, lines of cocaine, uh, and I don't want to judge the addicts, they are innocent in a way, they might be... Uh, face trials for other crimes like fascism. I'm not a fascist, I want to make that clear, not an anti-Semite. Uh, don't hate Muslims. <laughs> I love all of them, but I love, I want to see more people in power who are feminine, like, and in that way, I think that Marine Le Pen, in a way, is not uh, as her father. So uh, that's a different kind of viewpoint. She wants to destroy the New World Order, and that's a, a good point. So uh, it's not against Muslims, it's not against Jews, it's not against Christians. We want to bring them together. That's the opposite of what the media might do, uh, say. And Michael and Raphael and all the other angels, they know what I'm talking about in the end. So, but I'm not afraid of the big cocaine dealers. <laughs> I used it in the past myself for 15 years. I don't want to lie about it. I'm honest in everything. So, um, but I quit and uh, I have no problem with marijuana because the Great White Lodge supports marijuana. So that's not a problem. But we have to take care of our youth and we don't want them addicted to either alcohol or cocaine or heroin. I don't want to judge the addicts. They might be face a uh, kind of Nuremberg 2 trials for other crimes, but uh, we just don't give up and... In that way, I support Bart de Wever for trying to get the coke out of the city and those who imported the cocaine in the cities. And even the, the secret services are not always innocent in that way. I mentioned the MI5 and the CIA. There are good forces inside, but we have to get the cocaine out of the people. I don't want to judge anyway, any uh, user of it, but the big guys are going to lose big time in 2020 because arrests will come and there is nothing that can stop what is coming. So for the benefit of the younger generations and as a bodhisattvic spirit and an Archangel Gabriel, which I've always been in disguise, but uh, <laughs> just realized it. <laughs> we have to save our youth. That's what I want to say. So legalize the marijuana. It doesn't mean that everyone has to use marijuana. Not at all. I try to use it myself as as less as possible because I don't believe that drugs is a salvation in the end so I prefer meditation and holistic medicine and all this stuff but as the Dalai Lama says sometimes for uh, medical purposes it must be allowed and in order to get the cocaine out of the city and out of the people first be soft against marijuana and in 2020 we might see big arrests coming for those responsible for trying to get cocaine in the city of Antwerp. Doesn't mean that everyone who used this in his life is bad, not at all, they have been victims, but now we're survivors. And me, Christo Gabriel says, we are going to arrest many people in the future. And it, it's already in plan. In 2020, it will be amazingly good for humanity. And uh, those who are uh, victims of addiction, they, they, they won't be judged at all, I guess, but uh, the big guys, and that's very necessary to protect our youth, have a very bad future in front of them. I mean, the big cocaine uh, mafia guys. So uh, 2020 will be wonderful and keep your faith. Bye-bye, Gabriel.